a large area or a large filter or something like that, and you knew that your particles, you know your particles are up probably of an estimated size, and you'll get better at it, but you'll see how she does it. It actually allows you to size and exclude certain items from your analysis. Which for one of my customers who does um, asbestos analysis, he needs a specific he does, size. He does a specific size, and then he can exclude everything because they a similar thing. They suck it through a filter, and the molds too. They suck the molds through a filter. They throw the filter underneath it, and then, and then it allows him more accurately declare because the asbestos is all on a range. Right. Once they determine that it's bad for you, it's actually bad. So I'm just selecting a small image so that we can just do it real quickly. So. I have an image like this, so I can go into the visit, and so the visit will tell me options. So if you want to use this particular captured mosaic, I can tell, okay, use this. I click on my, so it just will tell what all particles. So I can change the mask settings that so it's I like have image right J or exactly. Whatever, basically. Okay. So it just looks for the pixels and it will tell you what sizes it is. So if you want to just select for certain sizes so that you can avoid some big gotcha. blobs or so, gotcha, 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 gotcha. you can do that. And um, a lot of times you can select between so and so size. So I'll just se right. select it very less so that it's really quick. Um, and this adjustment you can change according to the type of particles you have. Um, once you have selected the type of particles you have, all you need to do is um, click, click spectrum. And it just goes to each of those points and it will start collecting the spectra for those points. It's gonna do one point per, per, per particle. Yeah, per so it polygon. takes that one as one okay. particle. So it can be irregular, different sizes. It's just based on how many pixels is there. Right. So. And um, once it does that, all it will tell you is tell me a location that's a background. So okay. you will just go in and tell Tap it. On okay. it so, so it will just now proceed to selecting background. So it will give me a new window, and it will, so it already has this blue background cross on it. Right. So technically, I'll just move it to a place where it is um, nice and clean, where I don't have. Um, much gunk around or anything like that so I'll just move it somewhere like that or even I can move it away but for now I'll just keep it here I'll just say go next um, it will do a background and then automatically ratio out whatever it saw in the other particles okay. Some of the particles came out nice, some of right. it is basically just saw a lot of absorbance. So, so if it is a separate spectrum for each Yes, particle. so if you had like 10 different or 20 different materials in this small area, it will just go and pick up everything separately. And um, if you can also set up your library for this. So if you know you're always going to search against this particular 15 just save that. material mm -hmm. then you can always search against that so right now I will do this little search and it will go and try to search it but right now it's going to try to search it against my big library so it will be pretty long so I stop that but I can individually go here and tell it to do a quick search and it will actually go in and search for me cool. that it's a stamina fan and it's number of particles it found it to be a cetaminophen um, and then it found two unidentified particles that's just because it didn't have too much absorbance in right it, so it couldn't so it will find tell me all these information like in so cool so this would be the kind of thing you could do if you're doing an ingestion experiment with microbeads you could digest the biological tissue and tell it to search for particles of this diameter right. plus or minus Right. Cool. Particle array. Yeah. Or particle so, detector. Um, particle we call wizard. it a wizard. Particle wizard. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, the particle wizard. Yeah. So we call it a wizard. Oh. So. Okay. so, and this you can actually just set it as a report. So, this is what companies do. Like, they'll set this as a report, they will have everything, all the information here. 
which library it matched it up to, what it think it is. So it will tell you particle one was this, 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 and um, how much match it think it is, and things like that. And cool. if it identified, then you can select the report, and you can look at your report. Should, and you can edit and add sure, it, sure, sure. Like, cool. like you would like. So it, everything will be there. So the, it's very, very good for QC kind of an environment where, or even for others, but for QC it's like they really use this wizard 